Eddie Alvarez. Started here, round one is underway, and we've got a striker who is a force to be reckoned with. Tonight, though, he draws a guy who can do a little bit of everything. And that guy is usually the one that will have the advantage. But we know what a high-level striker is, and this guy is as high-level as we've ever seen in the UFC. Oh, nice straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class, hands up, chin down. Nice punch by Hooker. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Straight right hand, no good. Straight right is there. Big right hook coming, it's blocked. Just over three minutes to go now. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that one. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Well, I'm an identical twin. Two is better than one. You might as well double up on the jab. He did so effectively there. Doubling up on the jab, and you see his opponent's head popping back every time it lands. Look at him working and trying to shut the liver down. Ooh. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves his focus. Go finish his fight. Outstanding output on both sides. Oh, straight right. Hooker gets caught with that punch. Oh, beautiful one-two punch. And there comes the separation now. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike Another lands there. Take down here. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. Close guard. Nowadays, you see guys just throwing little shots that don't really matter. Very few guys now are committed to ground and pound as they were in the past. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Well, not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by Eddie Alvarez. All right, so a big knockdown for him, courtesy of that. All right, here we go with round two. Nice strike. All right, so we're in the clinch. Not anymore. Beautiful trip to get this fight to the ground, DC. No effort, John. No effort. When you do it right, it takes no effort. And this young man just did it right. All right, so good ground and pound by him here. Certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off of you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. Useful strike there, the ground and pound on point tonight. Oh, good work here to the body by Eddie Alvarez. Good, solid strike on the ground. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Big kick lands. Just over three minutes to go. Oh, really using his reach advantage there as he lands the punch, DC. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect. That's a huge 
Good shot there, DC. I'm not sure how he stayed up. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, to stay standing shows and talks to your toughness. That right hand landed. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Alvarez is now dealing with a cheat cut. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh! He's tough. He's hurt bad. Just misses there with the left. Oh, straight right. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. And they separate. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening. Oh! oh. His head still attached to his back. The last time he saw an uppercut like that, it was Overeem versus the Dodger. And you know, we still haven't found Alice to Overeem pay. Well, any time you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's going to be. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. All right, stacked guard here, DC. The feet are on the hips. What does that mean? I mean that he's out. I mean he's out. The moment you get the feet on the hips, all he's got to do now is straight leg. He's got to kick and push because how is the opponent going to stop him from just elevating him? This is a grown man. You let him get both feet on your hip, you push away, you kick, a jiu jitsu stand up. You know what that is, Jay. I do. Listen. Listen. Hey, you ready? You ready? Third round underway. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Big, powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh, useful trip right there to get the takedown out of the clinch. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Oh, and he's able to land a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done by Eddie Alvarez. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. Well, he's on his back now, going for the rear naked choke. We'll see if he can get under the chin. He is doing a really good job of relaxing, not panicking. And he's out. He's getting choked. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here from bottom. Oh, wow, that happened quickly as the fighter reverses position there on the ground. Unbelievable position change. Wow, what a transition. Alvarez's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it. And you now are the guy's got on bar. He's attacking it on him. He's gonna attack on bar here. Continuing to try to manipulate the head here. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. Not tapping out tonight. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Got an angle here to try to change the position.
recognize that when a guy starts to put his feet on your hips, you gotta move him off, then you gotta cover. You can't be off to an angle. decision is in. It resides with the venerable Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' court cards for a decision. For the winner by majority decision... All right, so congratulations are in order for him. He gets it done by the narrowest of margins. Majority decision. I thought maybe it was a draw, but two of the three judges thought he did enough to win. And that's worst case in the...